Good morning, I'm Clint Griffiths. China was back buying U.S. ag goods to start off the week, making a buy of just over 1 million metric tons of new crop corn on Monday. But USDA also announcing the country was canceling a buy of 280,000 metric tons of old crop corn. Now this comes on the heels of Beijing buying up 1.36 million metric tons of new crop corn last week. Trade sources also reporting that China was buying corn from the Ukraine and Canada for new crop delivery last Friday. AgriTalk host Chip Flory and Washington DC analyst Jim Wiesmeyer talking about the buys during this week's Signal to Noise podcast. They're, they're rolling some of their old crop purchases to the new crop. Uh, I, I think a lot of that was expected. Um, but to see China react and take action as early in the process on the new crop as they are, there's a problem. There's a problem, and that should be uh, literally forcing other corn import importing countries, Japan, uh, Mexico, other countries to jump in here too, because you put, put your pencil on, on a piece of paper. If this carryover goes much lower, you, and plus you're going to have such a demand in the fall of moving in this country, the fobbing, you know, yep. capacity here is really going to be a tight chip. But right now, what's moving markets continues to be Brazil's safrina crop. Most forecasters don't see a major improvement in depleted soil moisture with one Brazilian ag consultant slashing the country's corn crop to 95.5 million metric tons. Now that's down almost 8 million metric tons from just last month. 